Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Knives. It's your host, Fletcher. And you guys might be wondering why I have all these knives out. Well, today we are going to talk about blade shapes. Their characteristics and which ones I like. All right. So we'll start from left to right. This is a cleaver blade shape. They tend to have a rectangular geometry. If you get a really good one, they ha they'll have a slight curvature along the blade. The best part about these is their square tip, which is normally very, very good for, for very detailed cuts because you can get in on that tip there and do your draw cuts. I love cleaver shapes. I really do, actually. For what I do, I open a lot of boxes. They're perfect because I can put that square tip right there draw across the box and I'm only going about that deep and it's perfect. I'm not gonna harm any merchandise or anything like that. And having one on an auto is even cooler, especially with some carbon fiber. This is the Launch 14, it's USA made and they go for I think 150, so. All right, cleaver shape. And if you have a nice tall grind, they get super slicey just cause they're wide. They're a wide blade shape. So if... cleaver blade shapes are good for Good slicey nature. You know, they're definitely not a piercing. You know, this has a little bit of a tip on it, but I can go like that and not cut myself. So they're a great utility blade shape. Next we have clip points, which are mostly on a lot of traditional knives. Buck knives love to use clip points. Normally a has a nice bit of belly and they call them clip points because the back of the blade clips down and meet the edge, hence a clip point. They tend to be very good slicers and they're very good for skinning, but they have gentler tips. So they are a very good game processing knife. The only reason I don't like them is some, I'm worried about that tip sometimes. With what I do, I do a lot of, I, do, I work with the tip a lot and I want my tip to be slicey, but I also don't want it to be super thin. So if it's a good clip point, I love it because they're basically just a modified drop point. Sometimes they add a little pizzing to whatever you throw them on, and they look good. They look good. They, br they break up the uh, monotony sometimes. Warncliffe. These have a lot of the same attributes of, say, the cleaver, the fact that they are a utility blade. They tend to be grind actually pretty similar. You know, they'll be like a saber grind or a full flat, uh, like a lot of the drop points are, which is one of the more common blade shapes. Thing I like about this is, yes, you still have some piercing, but that tip is very good for draw cuts and utility purposes. It is also seen as more of a work blade shape than a uh, tactical blade shape. So in areas where you're not as knife friendly, a Warncliffe style um, is actually very good because you can justify it more as a work shape. Not to mention it just, the tip cuts really well, which for me, I, I do a lot of uh, opening boxes. So I'm, I'm constantly use. I'm utilizing that a hundred percent. And, and worn cliffs tend to have either like they'll be flat. So they're a very good, you know, very tip of the edge draw cut. Or like if they're really good, like this one, they'll be very good for just pull cuts like this, because that whole blade shape. Kershaw's, a lot of Kershaw design language is basically just modified worn cliffs that are very slicey. And that's why people like them, is it's just a good geometry. I love Warncliffs. But this is like a Warncliffe sheath foot combo, which is actually rather nice. Okay. This here is a... This is what they call a spear point. And that's what I would classify it as. You could say that this is a drop point, too. I'm really bringing this out as a uh, comparison to, it's kind of the Barlow blade shape, which is like a modified drop point, spear point kind of style. Spear points tend to be a lot like the Spyderco leaf blade shape, where the tip is in the center, and then you have curves on either side coming to meet at the tip. So spear point's very similar to a dagger, but the fact that the grind's at the top and not in the middle. They do tend to have pretty good tip strength, uh, geometry is pretty similar to a drop point, so they're all right. I like them if they're like this, they have a fuller. They're actually, I think they're quite sexy, to be honest. I just think there's something, and then especially if you get some, um, 
Oh man, I completely forgetting. So there's a fuller here. I completely forgot the name for this, but if you have this um, machining here where it goes in, I'm sure I'm gonna remember the name later in the video, but uh, I just think they look quite nice. They remind me of a Barlow. Very, very good. I like it. They're just like a different style. For me, the way they perform is very similar to a drop point. Sheep's Foot is a very, very good utility style blade. Whether it's a hollow grind like this, or I prefer a full flat, this hollow grind is actually nice and uh, nice and thin, which is very appealing. So it's another utility blade shape, you know, a little more raised up, I'd say. The reason they call it a sheep's foot is a sheep's foot, the hoof curls down like that. So normally they'll curl down even more. Think of like a case knife medium stockman, that blade that goes down. And again, they're just a very good utility draw cut style. You know, they're not made for piercing, but they're very good slicing blades. Out of the three, between a cleaver, sheep's foot, and a Warncliffe, Warncliffe kind of combines the best of both of them, but I really like this, the way cleavers cut. I just, I enjoy the way they cut. And you know what? Honestly, out of the three utility blade styles, I love them all. Now this one is the most popular and prolific blade style, the drop point. It's just, and here's why. You can pierce with it. It doesn't, it stays thicker out to the tip, so it's not as delicate as the clip points. So you have good piercing. You've got plenty of belly, so you have good slicing ability. You even have a straight area here, right? So there's your, you know, some of your utility cutting or, uh, you know, your pull cuts. You can do pretty well in that area. Slicing, you can do better near the tip. And then the very tip, the point, will be good for piercing. Drop points tend to be my all-around favorite blade just because you, they're like a jack-of-all-trades. So if I have a drop point and I need to pierce something, I'm not out of luck. If I need to pierce something and I have a cleaver, I'm, I'm screwed. <laughs> you know, you can, you can, you gotta kinda, with a cleaver, you gotta like, go like that, which is kinda awkward. One of the best blade styles is this leaf blade shape that Spyderco uses. I would kinda view it as a modified spear point in a way, because it does meet in the center. But the reason they call it a leaf is it's got the same style as a leaf. What this means is you get a very symmetrical blade style, nice tall grind, so they get very slicey. Your tips tend to, you know, when they do the distal taper on them, when they do a distal taper, it tends to leave the tips thinner. But depending on how you do it, like if you do with what's on the shaman or the shaman, however you want to say that, nice thick tip that's actually rather strong and very center point tip. So whatever I poke into, I'm going directly in. You know, it is a it is a very good piercing blade style and then also very slicey with a distal taper on it. I really enjoy the leaf blade shape because it's, you know, it's very similar to a drop point, but your tip is centered, which means whatever you're piercing at, you're, you're hitting directly on, so. Another one of my favorite is this is, some websites have it as a drop point, some websites have it as a clip point, but this PM2 style, which I'd say is, it's gotta be more like a clip point, to be honest, just cause that's so drastic. You know, a drop point, like the tip curves down, a clip point, it just straight angle, right? Or it can clip up, right? It can curve up towards the tip. This I'd say is a, a mix between the two, and I actually rather like it. The pair of three doesn't have too delicate of a tip, in my opinion. It's got a nice tall grind, distal taper. It pierces rather well. Nice tall grind, so it's very good for going through cardboard. Uh, with this, when it starts here, you actually have plenty of ability to press on the thumb ramp, which is nice. It does really lock you in. No concerns about that. No really concerns about this blade shape slipping out. Okay, and these are basic blade shapes. You know, there's a few that I don't own, like the Hawkbill, which is a karambit blade style. It's very good for pull-up cuts. Um, people use it in self-defense knives. I'm not going to get into why, because this is a channel for tools. Not really going to go into the weapons part of it. That's not what I'm 
about for knives. I'm about the daily use as a tool in my life, okay? So this is a Tonto. So you can see it leaves a nice thick tip. It's kind of a compound grind. You have a saber grind here and then a saber grind here. Swedge, that's what that is, swedge. Swedge, so when this, okay, it came back to me, guys. I'm good. All right, so swedge on the blade. These are very good for piercing and actually scraping because this is like a chisel. You can get in there and kind of go like that. Uh, Tontos are really good scraping blades also because of this flat. Don't expect them to be good slicers though, unless you start with a very thin blade stock. Tontos are definitely, see how they're center line like the spear point? They're made for piercing. All that material there is behind the tip. It is definitely a piercing blade style. That is what it is designed for. So in terms of my favorites, because of their combined attributes, I would say a drop point, the cleaver, Really any of the, any of these kind of styles, they're just very good for what I do day to day. Also, I think this nice blade is magnetic. Let's, let's test that out. Okay, maybe I'm just on crack. It just looked like they were like, I don't know if you guys saw that, they were like coming together. Okay, so I like drop points. Here, we're gonna, we're gonna move all these out of the way. And I'm gonna put my favorite ones on screen, so. Not the biggest fan of Tonto's. Kind of a turn off for me, unless I'm looking for a scraping knife, then I really actually am looking for a Tonto. Okay. Okay, so these are my top five favorite blade shapes. In daily use, I just love them. The Sage, I love this leaf shape. The Manix has the same one, so does the Native and the uh, Manix. Native, Manix, Shaman, they all have the same one. Sheep's Foot, just very good utility blade. Very slicely, especially this is like 14 thou behind the edge. Hollow grind, so this is just a beast. This just devours anything you want to cut. Man, I used to think cleavers were a really funky blade shape, and then I started using them, and I was like, you know what, I can get behind this. I understand why there's people who are do or die for cleavers. Yeah, they, they kind of are funky, and they do have like a, they look like a straight razor, like I'm going to shave my face with it. But they just perform so well. If you get a good grind, all you need is a good grind on one of these, and you are just set. You are just set. Get yourself a cleaver with a good steel. If you're doing a lot of utility cuts... And not to mention, you can actually do relatively straight cuts with these if you just are drawing. And if you actually go somewhat quick, like you're just, the knife tends to just go through whatever. I've cut paper for school projects. I was like, crap, where are the scissors? And I just, my wife put them somewhere and I had no idea where they were. So I was like, so I folded, right? I folded the knife, or sorry, not the knife. <laughs> I folded the paper and then I went with a cleaver style like this. Pretty damn straight cut, pretty damn straight. So these are my favorite blade shapes. Comment down below what your favorite blade shapes are and why. Another reason, I'm, bef sorry, before I cut out, these are actually not bad to sharpen either. So especially this is very easy to sharpen. That's another reason I like them. Tonto is another reason I don't like them. Kind of a pain to sharpen. You have to treat it as if it's like almost two different blades on the same one due to that compound grind. All right, now we can wrap it up. Leave a comment down below. What are your favorite blade shapes? Comment, share, subscribe if you like this video. And as always, stay sharp.